now that I've got my hat turned in the right direction, today we're having a conversation with Will and Katie, who at the time were only recently married. There are many life adjustments to be made when we no longer have just ourselves to think of, making space for the other person and their priorities. What do you feel that you've learned about each other in your first year of marriage? Well, yeah, we've learned, learned so mm -hmm. much. Uh, the first year, uh, there's a lot of change. We're now living together. Um, and that, that you will learn a lot about each other when you, you live together as well. And uh, one of the biggest things actually to start with was even just uh, sharing a bed. Um, getting used to sleeping in the same bed, yeah. I thought that would be easy. Snoring. Uh, yeah. uh, you know, elbows in the face occasionally. Yeah. These things happen. Yeah. Um, or when you can't sleep and she is, or a place for a second. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we learned a lot just even just uh, about that and uh, time, how it would look like, finding our own space as well as... Uh, making sure we have time for each other, um, work commitments, it was a big one. Um, so we learned a lot about, about time as well, getting the balance uh, right. Uh, marriage was a very important part of our, our life now, so we, we wanted to make sure, um, yeah, we had the time to invest in that um, and really grow. What kind of changes did you have to make, Katie? Was there was there changes in lifestyle that had to happen because now you were you're married and you're sharing um, your space? I think it all just went quite naturally to be honest. I don't actually remember ever consciously having to or learning something about Will that I felt like I didn't already know. Um, mm, that's quite nice. But that's I just it was more like an unraveling of character and an unraveling of lifestyle. So mm. the way we function just works anyway. Like I wake up early so I can make lunch and <coughs> I work late so Will makes dinner. Like it just uh, in a way I think that our friends are excited to share yeah. um, this part in us and we have amazing friends and they're also really understanding and respectful of uh, like I don't know boundaries but at yeah. the same time they weren't something we felt we needed to put out there and um, we have very similar friendship circles. <laughs> I know that in, in the church you are part of the, the youth ministry and in mm -hmm. that you, you have to work a lot together. Mm -hmm. Do you find that you get sick of each other? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. We work a lot yeah. together and we also work a lot of parts. So we each head different parts within the youth ministry mm -hmm. and we know that as much as we're a couple and we have a voice as a married couple, we still have voices as individuals. children of God yeah. and individuals. Yeah. So we, um, we still use those. Well, Will and Katie covered a lot of ground in this interview, but if I was to sum it up, I'd say the word teamwork comes to mind. They both appear flexible, respectful of each other's challenges of the day, and complimentary to them even. Next week, Judy and I are going to talk about an incident when we both really missed the mark. It concerns the purchase of a car. God bless and bye for now.